alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello, our viewers at Home Market TV. This is your host, Shukri Guchir. Uh, today we are at the uh, Ontario Somali Unity Conference, first of its kind here today. Uh, basically, the aim was uh, to bring a couple of um, leaders here within Ontario. People came from Kitchener, Waterloo, Hamilton, um, Niagara Falls, and uh, surrounding cities here, and uh, basically to discuss um, issues that affect the community, issues such as as, uh, mental health awareness, uh, something as serious as uh, gun violence, and uh, more importantly, unemployment, high unemployment rate uh, within the community, and uh, how to support the youth to kind of um, have better lives and improvements. And the main sponsor of today's conference is uh, Workers Action Center. Uh, Workers Action Center has led um, uh, advocacy and they were the leaders in terms of um, increasing minimum wage to $15. Um, so the province of Ontario's min minimum wage now is $14 an hour. Uh, they're aiming to uh, change that to $15 uh, down the line and push and advocate um, against the conservative government of uh, Doug Ford. So here are some of the conversations uh, that we're having here today and now I have with me uh, Aziza Hassan from the uh, Western uh, Village Senior Center. Aziza, hi, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. I'm good, alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Aziza, tell me about how long it took you guys to um, organize this conference and what is the main agenda that's happening here today? So it was approximately an effort that took about, I would say, a few months for us to really get everyone together to come um, from various parts of Ontario. Um, and it was honestly the main goal or mission, you could say, for us was to create that connection between the various communities so that we can discuss our issues and find a solution. That's great. That's great. So in terms of uh, the Western Village Senior Center, what was their main role uh, into this? And I, I've seen you guys do things also with the Workers Action uh, Center uh, and an effort to increase the minimum wage uh, here in Ontario. Yes, that's correct. So we uh, at Western Village Senior Center, we have worked in collaboration with uh, uh, Workers Action Center for a lot of events. We host a lot of workshops about workers' rights, about um, immigration rights, and a lot of things. So we do work in collaboration with them to offer resources to our community. Um, they're an exceptional help and support for us. Um, and likewise, for this event, they felt it was a need. Uh, to have a, a conference for Unity for Somalia, so they were uh, more than willing to support and sponsor this event. That's amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Yes. So, uh, like we discussed here today, uh, basically, it's not only just to bring awareness to the issues that are currently happening, is to eventually collaborate and give each other advice into um, how we can come to solutions to improve the community's uh, current uh, situation. One of the main sponsors of today's conference is the, is the, are the Workers Action uh, Center. And we have with us the Executive uh, Director, Dina Ladd. Hi, Dina. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for having me. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, some of the stuff that you guys were advocating for, for from time is equal wages and equal pay. Uh, not only equal pay, but fair wages, uh, in particular for the um, minimum wage to increase to $15 per hour. And that's something that you were advocating until you expressed earlier the uh, conservative um, provincial government got in the way. Tell me about that. Yeah, so in 2015, we um, launched the 15 and Fairness campaign in response to the terrible working conditions that we've been seeing um, that are facing so many different parts of our community, not just the Somali community, but the Tamils, the Chinese, the South Asians, the Spanish, um, uh, basically everyone, everyone who's sort of really dealing with uh, minimum wage. And so we've seen wages go uh, stay so low and people not have any benefits and the conditions at work become really really horrendous and so in 2015 we launched the 15 and fairness campaign and it was a unified agenda for decent work how to improve wages and working conditions so that it could lift people out of poverty and make sure that when we went to work we actually had dignity and respect on the job and so some of the the so we actually managed to get some great wins and we got legislation passed in 2017 um, 
that got implemented on January of 2018, which raised the minimum wage from $11.40 to $14, and then it was going to go up to $15 on November 1st, 2019. And but the Ford government took that away. Six weeks before the $15 was about to be implemented, they scrapped that legislation. Um, they also took away two paid sick days. Um, they took away equal pay for equal work. New scheduling rules, especially for those of us who work in retail, in part-time jobs, and who are also trying to go to school, right? Like, you need to be able to have flexibility around your schedule um, so that you can do both and this would have given you more flexibility. It also though said to employers that if you don't pay somebody their wages, you should pay the costs and damages on that and you should also um, pay heftier penalties for those violations. For the Ford government took away all of that. Yeah, so the conservative government, they're, they're the leaders of cuts, cuts and more cuts, right? Uh, what do you tell our viewers, people that are watching you here today, how can they advocate or kind of uh, do some sort of their social responsibility in terms of contacting their local uh, elected MPPs and what have you? So I, I think for those of us who are um, concerned about the conditions, I think it's really important for people to fight for um, decent wages and working conditions and to fight for the, the things that are important to us. We would never have gotten $14 an hour if people in the Somali community and in many communities hadn't signed petitions, been leafleting, been trying to push their political representatives, especially at the Ontario government, um, to say, you know what, our community deserves decent wages. Um, that all of, the, all of the gains that we made um, would never have happened if people hadn't organized the only reason why the government actually did that is because they were hearing at the doorsteps, they were hearing by emails, by phone calls, by visits, by people in their community saying, you've got to do this, you don't have a choice. If you want my vote, if you want us to politically support you, you have to do something about the kind of conditions of work. And so I think that people need to realize that when we do this collectively, when we do this in unity, when we all come together around a common purpose and a common demand you can achieve so much and and we we even though it was taken away from us we had it for one year right and so even though they've taken it away we can make sure that they put it back and we send a clear message to them that they have to do this they don't have a choice so that's why I think it's so important for young people and for folks who are maybe in school or just graduating or, or in these types of jobs that are only paying minimum wage, your voice, your actions, your activity is so critical and is, and is, is absolutely vital to move this forward. Absolutely. And Dina, speaking of unity, uh, this is the uh, first of its kind, uh, the Ontario Somali Unity Conference. Uh, what is the main aim and what encouraged you to actually uh, sponsor this event here today? So we have been working with the Somali community, the Workers Action Center. We've been working with the Somali community for the past uh, four years. And we have been um, really concerned about the kinds of wages and working conditions that community members face, especially with the rise of temporary agencies, the low wages, Islamophobia, racism, discrimination, the kinds of lack of opportunities that face the community. Because we also see that in the Bengali community, in the Tamil community, in other communities that are also being um, stopped from getting access to good jobs. And so we have felt that it's really important to invest in community leaders and to support people to learn how to do organizing, to learn about how to deliver Know Your Rights workshops um, in Somali, um, and to be basically build the capacity of the community. Um, it benefits everyone if 
all of our communities know how to defend themselves and how to fight for their rights. And so we're doing this in many, many different multiracial communities and also in many different cities across the province because what we're seeing is that we're so divided and we need to unify and we cannot be fighting amongst ourselves because when we fight amongst ourselves the government makes decisions employers um, on our behalf and and they don't benefit us they don't benefit us and so we have to be united and we have to have these difficult conversations. We have to figure out how are we going to organize? How are we going to overcome the divisions? How are we going to organize to make sure that, you know, when we go to work that we're respected or, you know, our kids are free from gun violence or don't have to face Islamophobia in the workplace. But we're not going to be able to deal with that if we don't sit down together, have those conversations, but then also take action. I'm not interested in just talking about the issues, I'm interested in taking action. And I think if, though, if, if your listeners are interested in action as well, that's what we're all about. And so we are uh, building the capacity of communities to take action, to come together and to be really united in, our, in, in this fight. Thank you so much, Dina, for your time. You. It's been wonderful. Um, our viewers, uh, you hear it heard today, uh, the importance of not only discussing these issues, but in terms of implementation and taking actions and towards uh, fighting for uh, minimum wage to increase and uh, increasing our rights in terms of uh, uh, fighting discrimination, Islamophobia, and issues that do affect the marginalized uh, min um, basically uh, minorities um, around Ontario and here in Toronto in particular. And here we have with us uh, the executive director of the part-time uh, student at the University of Windsor, Marian Amelo. Marian, uh, welcome to Home Market TV. Oh, thank you so much, Avaya. I'm very welcomed. Um, so I wanted to know, uh, when you got invited to this conference here, um, I was talking about the Somali unity uh, in terms of exchanging information from all over the cities within Ontario and how we can connect with each other. What kind of advice would you give uh, some of the issues that are happening here in Toronto, such as gun violence or lack of unity? Okay, um, first I want to thank the uh, Workers Action Center who really hosted this event for us. I'm very proud to be part of this uh, Ontario Unity Conference, which we really needed for a long, long, long time. Um, I really benefit a lot because, you know, uh, us coming from Windsor, a um, small city, but we have a lot of demands and needs because there's not a lot of resources that we have, and our community is not affected right now. Um, I benefit, we benefit a lot from the other, especially the one from Niagara, um, their um, way that they're actually helping their people, the system that working for them, how they're helping their people. So uh, we really gain a lot of knowledge about this conference and it's something that we all taking home and, you know, taking beneficial with it, what we get. It. That's amazing, Marian. And tell me some of the work you do there at the University of Windsor. Is it more inclusive space for people of visible minority or for Muslims uh, that do look like us? Absolutely. As you can see that I'm hijabi as well. And uh, I've been working there for over a decade. It's a very diverse university, thank God. We have uh, the most highest 4% of the population of the international is our university and our city is very diverse so I'm really very proud to be part of the even group who created that inclusivity at the university so I'm sitting in that committee so mashallah and you guys are doing amazing work for the Hormar uh, TV is that the name? Hormar TV <laughs> I really like it and I usually watch from your clips on YouTube so and today was really amazing we gained a lot of knowledge we did a lot of networking exchanging information so i'm i'm really happy because i'm overwhelmed the knowledge that we gained today absolutely absolutely so implementation and putting policy and pushing discussions is one thing and implementation is a whole another thing what kind of outcome are you hoping for after today's conference um, actually, this is for a starter, so Ontario Somali Conference is something, even the name, it seems kind of so tempting, but I said, are we going to continue this? So our hopes is that at least we wanted the group to visit each city so we can continue the work because we really need to, we don't we just want to like coming together and discussing and, and that's about, we need to put some action towards our work 
And hopefully, as Brother Abdullahi, I wanted to thank him. He's the one who invited us. And uh, Sister Zainab and also Dina, who's the organizers. We are really very grateful for this opportunity that we get today. And I'm hoping to implement and continue the work of the unity. Because for me, uh, it doesn't make any sense that we have 20 organizations that are representing Somalis in Toronto, for example. We don't need 20. We just need one united organization that is really working for us, that we all can benefit with. So we need to work internally with all of us together as a one unity, because we are one community, one language, one religion, one race. So we should work together. Thank you so much, Maria, for your time. I appreciate that. Thank you. So Thank you. Much for today's time, I much appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. So our viewers, uh, that's part of the discussions, and you're going to watch here the presentations that are happening about what is the main agenda and the main aim of this conference. And going forward, how they're going to carry on, not only the conversations, what kind of action plans will be the outcomes of today's conference. Our viewers, uh, as I mentioned in the past, one of the cities uh, that within Ontario, uh, community organizers and leaders came from is Niagara Falls. And uh, a lot of, especially Torontonians and people of the GTA, they don't know there's a Somali Canadian community within Niagara Falls. Uh, a couple of hundred people, uh, it's accounted for and all that. So here with me I have from the uh, Poly Polygili Lots Immigrant Service, Abdurrahman Yusuf, uh, who is a uh, board director. Abdurrahman, welcome to Hermarket. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. So you you mentioned earlier how your uh, task and your organization started the conversation back in 2001. So almost 20 years now. And uh, from those humble beginnings, today you have an office and you are leading uh, towards change and towards collective uh, kind of to bring the community together and to address their needs. Tell me about your organization. Okay, uh, thank you for asking that question. Uh, I told you before at the meeting, uh, we started uh, this uh, program immigrant service in uh, 2001 just to, uh, to start how we can uh, build a very heavy uh, community by the future, not we go the last, because usually we see people, a lot of people, they uh, start to build a community, but maybe a couple of years it will be gone because there's no big fact. Then what we are now uh, suggested from 2001 to 2011 to build what's the rules, how we can run this community and who is uh, serving the community and what kind of service they do. Then we finished uh, 2011, then we started to get what kind of name we can take it. Then we ran from there. Now uh, in 2015, we try to get our own office to serve the people. That's amazing. So here at the conference, this is one of uh, the first of its kind for all Ontario uh, Somali Canadians to come together. What, is, uh, what do you think is important for unity and to have these kind of discussions? Uh, the main thing I say, uh, we can unit, there's no problem, but the main thing is everyone with no interest. We need to look what it can be the future, how we can build a heavy, heavy community in Ontario. Have their own voice, they have own service, can do it whatever they need the community. The focus to be a community, not to go around and look at your own benefits. We need to look our child benefits, not us. Yeah, in the future. Yeah. Uh, speaking of future generation, what do you want, and what is, what is your hope, basically, of the outcome of this conference to be in the future in terms of implementation or actionable items to come out from today's conference? Uh, what we have is um, to get a heavy community. That's what I can answer the questions. Yeah. What does that mean? Um, to get a good uh, leader, to become a good leader, can build the community. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Yes. So, uh, our viewers, um, we're still uh, in conversations within the conference, uh, but we want to end it here today. Thank you so much for watching, first of all, today. And uh, because this was one of the uh, first uh, of its kind, there are a lot of issues that are being discussed here today. Uh, some of the issues were um, fair wages, uh, employment, uh, an increase of uh, minimum wage, and especially because the main sponsor were the uh, Workers uh, Action Center. But um, some of the heavy topics here today, 
yesterday was uh, mental health awareness and how people can access resources in terms of helping uh, people within the community that are affected by mental health issues, but also uh, gun violence and youth gun violence and how to prevent crime. Our viewers also, uh, we have met one of our main guests at Home Market TV that we had uh, numerous discussions with about uh, youth gun violence in the past. And this is uh, Hassan. Uh, Hassan basically is here uh, from uh, Winter at the um, Ontario Somali Unity Conference as, an, as a community advocate and somebody who really cares about the issues that do affect us uh, here in the community. Uh, he's here today to talk about uh, the discussions and how to carry on that one thing. Hassan, welcome to Our Market TV. Hassan, thank you so much. And first of all, for Our Market, I think this um, is a new way of thinking, and this is a paradigm shift. It's the first time that I've been in North America for past 27 years that I see uh, somebody is talking about unity in the context of the of the whole province. And I think it's a very important. This unity is so important that it will alleviate the issues that we're having, whether it's a mental health issue, whether it's gangs and gangs, whether it's uh, uh, um, discrimination, employment, Islamophobia. You have to understand that we're Muslim and we're black. The only way that we can come over those two stigma is to confront in a one way of meaning, in one way as a unity, as a Somali Canadian, uh, to come together and figure out how can we navigate this discrimination, this unemployment, and this problem that some of our youth. It's a Canadian social problem, but we cannot solve the problem without of thinking about our unity. And the unity, it does not mean that everybody's agenda has to be enlightened. It has to be the 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 done to good which means is that it has to be for everyone everyone of that who is canadian somali has to participate or also whether it's psychological participation or financial particip economical participation or even volunteering it and i think this is a new way we're making a paradigm shift i don't know what we're going to go but i think we're up to something and inshallah we're going to get it somewhere thanks to the people who put it together especially the uh, uh fight for 15 group who really 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 is working with our community i think we need those kind of allies in order for us to enhance in our community that's great, Hassan. And you know what? That brings me to the question of, well, actionable discussions and talking about the issues is one thing, but implementation is a whole another thing. What is your hope that for the outcome of this conference to be in the future? I think one of the most important things is seeing one another, discussing about it. And you have to understand, we're, we, we became a culture of discussion. We never, we never came from a culture of implementation right away. We have to talk so long in order to go to the conclusion. I think because we came together as a unity and we're trying to make a paradigm shift, I hope and inshallah I'll pray for it so that we as a community will figure out where to go the next level. Inshallah and the Shaddan is not going to be with us this time. Our viewers, uh, we're still here in conversation and one of the cities I mentioned earlier was Hamilton that uh, a group of people came here today for the um, Ontario um, Conference, Unity Conference and we have here with us is Mohammed Ahmed Ali Mohammed Ali Ahmed. You know, usually in the Canadian terms, we use uh, the last name, so the grandfather's name. Uh, Mohammed Ahmed, you are uh, from the uh, Hamilton community, and you guys opened a new center about six months ago. Tell me about that. Barakallahu feek. Ada umma santa adir. Masha'Allah, tabarakallahu. What's good? Hadda wuhan skuka nai dadka u awal inbadan kalam magna. Sikas tahala duha ahato. يعني وحن هذا في الجرائن هنا إن نقولنا ضد سكوحرن ووضع شان قاضي يعني إن شاء الله تعالى وعاد وجود هل من الوسو وذي جسنا يا هدي عن قلنا لك حرو هدي قفنا جهر هذا هدي عد قسم سو دقي سو وضع كلا كيانو سيانو وخد مينو وحن وخد مينا ضد كان أفكا أقون ورقدها هن قرنا هولب بدن أيانو قبلنا يوث ك ضرب إنك وصاحر إنه وحو ضرب أف ضرب إن أيام صمنا يعني الحمد لله شكر رب العالمين هذا أدي هذا نوصل عطا وحنا نسكدينا إن شاء الله تعالى إن أن سيهرمرنا هولها أن هذا هاي إن شاء الله.
ان شاء الله تعالى هدايته وحا كهذا الشيء يوث كيو دليرته ان الله صاحبين مهمته او وارد كيو يؤبد كيس اسفهمان او سيجارة عنق الله صاحبه ما انه وحا كسكو شيكته مركا نو شيك نو تاتابو نو شيك مهمة إلا ذا يوث كأو ودن كان كسو كري وارد نمد إني كدو ونيد سومالي مركي لتشوقي ودن كان نحن دينا كدو ونتاع هذا 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 رمها السنتاع إلى غيرك وسؤال هذا دعوين وهذا مهمة إن نبقى نهستا يوث كا إن أنا هو مركا وقوا آخر إنه مركا نقطة تجان سكول كلا أيه جلان وحأذو ونهسن مركا إن المه أول خمين وأي ونهسيهن أنا أيام خمان كبيرنا سبب طاقة إن دتكو المهو ذو يسود ويستان يروحون أيام الله صعبيه ولا نو نكسنا تاي نيد الله دسا إن أنا ونا واحد لنا واحد تاي نروحون قشنا عبتا سيارة عباتها جرنا هنوعمان يعني دب بدن أيام لوجس لكن هدي الله صاحب يوثك وأسكت ذو ويلكو محبة هي هاي جبرو محبة هل تاي إن الله صاحب تو أنا هو هنسكت ضيع قبل هيك أنا إذا أب بابور كات جعش هاي صافير صو ويل كا سدوا كلا إن سئ متقنا إن إن ويلكو خلق بس مدة كلا مركا الله صاحبته وح أو ربنا عاد أصلا ما يسوه هذا الكلام ما غلافايو وحن كل شيء ضيع أنا وضن كمركا أنا مد المي وإن بدنا يجسوه ريين وأكتب به ويل أنا لا يا الله الله مركا سبوح يري محاط كوضع يعني محاط كوضع أسرع عادي لا تاي أنا أنا وحول إلى النقطة سيدي كرام محاط كوضع ها ها وهذا يومي يعني وحول إلى النقطة لكن مركو إيفس الله إيفس رأي واحد أوجه هذه وحمانا إنه سكوذين دقن كي أيت هاي مركا المها وحن أذ وسجد لها والدين تا إيو وياشا أبايشا إن أي لصاحي مان المها سكون الضيان وي ماها اولدي كندا نبكو ميلو البوايا لا ابن سعود عربيا نشوق شري عرور كويس شري يعني والمت هدي ها والمت نبكو ميلو البوايا لا وحلقونا يا ميلو البوايا لين ايضا لليا وليبا على كشكينين اي جوغان ودن اسلام اما ودن عربيت اي وحي سمايانا وحي هلكان كسمايانا وحكدرا مركا يعني الماها نبكو لو اركين ونكسيهن وفعيهن يعني لقلب شبين عرورتا سياسة أيام سوت شيء دلها. النجا وحنا هذا كمنو تقصب ما شاء الله تبارك الله وحنا هذا وفرح سنة هاي. رجينا لد السي كمنو تيجا نك على كم ذا كان تاجن عباس ما شاء الله إيوه يعني وحوها تيفيق نوه ريه ونوي ما هذا أو قد بيا هذا الله ذا نذا. كمنو تيجا نعم بقى إيسا وحلا يرثا سومالي كمنو تي إن هاملتون كاس أيام كم ذا ون إسكو نميت ما شاء الله تبارك الله هو رب ذا الله وكهنا. وحن رجعنا إن أنا كوسوب بيرنو وأو حلو وذا إنه سومالي أنتوري سومالي يونيت ومدي سي كمونتياشي سومالي ذا أوردن وأنا جرب سينا إن شاء الله تعالى وحن رجعنا إن أنا لم يدو إنه وأنا جرب استعنو هدي الله ودله ودمو سيرنا كلا دبقة هذا إنه وحنا جم مغنا أيق عن كهلنو وحنا أيق مغنا أنا جنا كهلان إن شاء الله تعالى أدي أد أيان دكوم هذا اللي أذر so that was a still in conversation with the uh, Ontario Somali Unity Conference and there's a lot of hopes and outcomes that people are weighing in and they're hoping that uh, in terms of imp implementation and actual actionable plans to come out of this conference uh, this is Shukri Guchir Toronto Hormaka TV thank you for watching